Everyone knows what a hassle it can be to make an animated graphic transition. Keyframes, macro steps, and then you have to edit them to get them just right. The X-Series simplifies this with clip transitions. So a clip transition is pretty much just like a regular switcher transition, except it uses the frame memory system. So as you can see down here, I have several transitions, mix, non-additive mix, super mix, wipe, DME wipe, etc. In my normal use of a switcher, I don't use non-additive mix very much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the setup menu under panel, link, and transition module. I'm going to select program preset. And notice here on this menu, all of these buttons can be completely changed according to what I need the switcher to do for my production. So in this case, I'm going to select my transition type, this button here, the non-additive mix button. And I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to find frame memory 1 and 2 clip. I'm going to hit set to change the function of the button. Now, even though the button still has a clear plastic label that says non-additive mix, the function is now frame memory 1 and 2 clip. Just a side note that in the box the switcher came in are a whole bunch of labels that you can use to relabel this button. So now that I've redone this, I'm going to hit this to change my clip transition. So the first thing I have to do is since I'm still actually keying something, I have to route what's in the keyer. So I'm going to go to keyer 1 and I'm going to put frame memory 1 inside there to get ready for this. So now I'm going to select the button that I assigned my clip transition to. I'm going to double press it. And what it's going to give me now is this special menu. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over and make sure I have the proper clip that I want, which is this one right here. Then I'm going to come over and I want to set my background transition type to wipe. And notice that now, after I bring my key in, what's happening here is doing a wipe under here, and the fader is actually going through and animating the clip for me. I don't have to make any keyframes or anything like that. Now, my wipe is off just a tad here. The real power here is in this portion right here in the bottom called background transition set timing. What I can do is if I need the wipe to happen earlier or later, I don't have to program or change keyframes. I'm going to move this over because you notice here that the wipe's starting a little bit too early here. See it? I'm going to want my wipe to start right there. I'm going to hit start. And notice what this little teeny display does up here. It's showing me that the clip is starting at the beginning, but that the background doesn't start for six frames. And you can see it kind of graphically. I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to move this way, and I'm going to go about right there, and I'm going to hit stop. You can see graphically how this is going to work. The clip's going to start, and the wipe's going to start and end a little later and earlier, respectively. So now when I fire this and run it, you get a beautiful clip wipe that I can sit there and go between all sorts of different things just by presetting. And it's very easy now. I can store this as a snapshot. So I'm going to store this as snapshot number 7 on program preset, and let's build another one. We'll go over to Clip again, and this time let's do one that has uh, some audio to it. We're going to select this. We're going to go back. Now, in this case, I don't need my background to be a white. That doesn't kind of make very much sense. I'm going to take my background to a mix, but also you kind of see here that this particular effect is designed to undercut when everything covers the screen and then have the background changed. It doesn't do me much good to have a dissolve in the back. So again, using my background transition set timing, I'm going to come and jog this over like this with the fader, go to right here, hit start, and just go one frame and hit stop. One frame is going to be a cut. So now watch what happens. A perfect transition without having to set any keyframes. All right, let's do one more. I'm going to select a new clip. I'm going to select this kind of billowy curtain looking clip here. And we can see that again, we've got a mix going on in the back, which is obviously not correct. So I'm going to set my transition background type to a wipe. All right. And uh, obviously, that's not right. We got kind of the wrong wipe going on here. So I'm going to select wipe, main modify, angle. So we can see I'm going to tweak the angle just a little bit so we hide it underneath there. Come back over to my clip section and set my timing. I'm going to start the wipe right about there, and I'm going to end the wipe right about there. Now when we run it, a beautiful transition. And I'm going to store this one under snapshot 8, and when I go back I can hit snapshot 7, run that one, hit snapshot 8, 
and run that one. 